Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and I've got a slightly different video for you guys today but I was in the mood to do a mask stand tutorial video so what I'm going to do for you guys is um, go through some quick and easy tips to set up your own display stands for your masks um, you don't really need too much in terms of stuff to get the thing set up and it is very very easy to do so if I can do it anyone can do it so as you can see in front of you we have the uh, finished result which I'm pretty happy with uh, not the greatest looking mask in the world it is the Halloween remake mass produced mask but um, the stand has definitely given me the uh, desired result that I was after so alright without further ado we'll get into this tutorial video for you guys Alright, so what you're going to need is pretty much everything that is in front of you. So everything that you can see on screen is what you're going to need. There's a few other ways of doing it, um, but this is the way that I personally really, really like to um, set up a masked stand. So first of all, you're going to need uh, one of these. Uh, this is just a metal or aluminium uh, paper towel stand um, you can pick these up at pretty much any store that sells like kitchenware so Kmart, Big W, Target, um, any kitchenware place or homeware place um, even some cheap discount stores like dollar stores or crazy clerks have these as well um, I got this one from Kmart and it was only four dollars which is really inexpensive um, it is a good size and it is pretty stable so now what I actually did I did alter it a little bit now it did come with a rounded um, end on it so what I did was just to make it a little bit easier to um, insert the foam head in which will be my next step is I just took a um, couple of or I took a metal cutter or a bolt cutter and just um, snipped the top bit off so it gives a bit of a sharper end to uh, put the foam head into you could possibly keep this on and still do it although I've never tried doing it that way so no guarantees um, that it will be easy to put the foam head on but yeah I just um, snipped the top bit off so it gave two sharper ends so this is the first thing you're going to need uh, the second thing you're going to need, obviously, is a foam head, which is what you put the mask onto. Um, this is the size I got. Um, it comes with a bit of a neck on it, which is uh, really, really good for the mask that I am planning to display. And um, these are really cheap. This one was only $10, which isn't too bad at all. And you can pick these up at most craft stores or fabric stores so they're fairly easy to uh, come by and <clears throat> the last item that I will be using now you don't necessarily need to use this this is kind of optional but um, I'm going to be covering the foam head with a piece of black cotton uh, this was just an old t-shirt that I had uh, that I trimmed down now the reason that I'm putting this over the foam is so not only does it protect the mask a little bit from the foam but um, it also gives blackness to the eyes um, which is what I'm wanting for this specific mask so basically the idea with the cotton over the foam is it just um, protects the mask a little bit um, from sticking to the foam or um, yeah the foam basically so uh, so those are the items that you'll need and what I do to attach the uh, cotton onto the foam head is just a rubber band which just wraps around the neck. Um, there it is there. You guys could either use a rubber band or a piece of string to um, just tie the cotton around the foam head to make it a little bit more secure. So those are the items that you're going to need. Now we're going to be taking a look at how to set it all up. Alright so you get your foam head 
and obviously you're going to want to give a quick measure to um, see how far you'll need to press the foam head onto the paper towel stand. I'm not going to press it all the way down, I'm probably going to go to about there so there's a little bit of the stand still showing um, but it is a good idea to measure it um, just in case you press it too far and the paper towel um, holder goes through the top of the head. Not that it probably will but it just all depends on the size of the head you're using. So, so now what I'm going to do is press the uh, foam head down onto the paper towel so give me a few seconds and I will be back after I've done that. Alright, so the foam head is securely put on the paper towel stand. I would have done it on camera except I had to be pretty careful with it. I wanted it to be pretty much in the middle and straight and I didn't want to injure myself so it was kind of easier for me to do it off camera. Um, but I'm sure you guys get the idea. Um, here it is here, very very secure on the um, paper towel stand so um, there you have it I didn't push it down the entire way because I wanted a little bit of the stand showing at the bottom um, but it was really easy I just put the foam head in the middle and just slowly pushed it onto the um, two paper towel forks so really really easy to do Alright, now for my next step, what I'm going to do is uh, cover the foam head with this black um, cotton material. You can use any material you want. Um, this was just an old black t-shirt that I had lying around that I didn't need anymore and I decided to cut it up. So all you do with this one is just pretty straightforward. You just cover the head with the uh, material and um, I'm going to use a rubber band um, to secure it around the neckline so I will be back once that's done. Alright so the final step is done and it's pretty much ready now to have the mask put on it. So all I did was just got my black cotton material and covered the foam head with it. It was probably a little too short but I'm not too worried. Um, I have the main part of the face covered which is the main part that I wanted and all I did was just secure it around the neck with a rubber band. So really really easy to do and as I said you know you could use any black material that you wanted um, but I would recommend using some material just to keep the mask away from the foam. So yeah. That is pretty much how you make a mask stand for your masks. Now the most important part is dressing it with a mask and seeing what it looks like. So give me two seconds and I will be back. Alright guys so here is the final product. He is back set up in my movie room next to the rest of my Halloween collection. And it looks fantastic. It was exactly what I was wanting. Um, it takes up a lot less room than my previous stand, which was a pretty bulky plastic mannequin's head. Um, it was way too bulky, especially around the base. Um, but this one just gives the mask a lot more height and a bit more of a professional look, I think. So, yeah, um, I'm wanting to give a quick shout out and a thank you to Horror Collectible Guy or Kurt. Uh, he basically let me know that this technique was a really good way to display your masks and it absolutely is. Um, yeah, I think the masks look absolutely fantastic on display. So Kurt, thank you so much for giving me this tip. And I hope this video has helped at least one of you guys out. Um, so definitely let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And thanks a lot for watching.